What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Eternal Evolution news for December 19th, 2023. And it looks like we have a Christmas event sneak peek a couple days early. Now remember, these events are going to coincide with the Evangelion second two week collaboration event. So it's expected to be pretty good because not only are we getting rewards for the Evangelion week, or two weeks I guess to say, we're also going to have a Christmas week's event as well. So let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Take one second. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subbed just yet to this channel. Let's get going. So they say, dear commanders, this year's Christmas is just around the corner. To make this a memorable and meaningful season for you, we have prepared many new content for you in the game. After the update on Thursday, you'll see the following celebration events. So you'll be able to see here, there's a whole Christmas background here. We have a market, a special endless battle, search for Christmas stockings on the tree, a repair of a sleigh and a snowman, and then Christmas mystery gifts we'll start off with that one right here which is number one mysterious gifts it says during the event you could obtain wish coins by challenging the lost valley uh triangle abyss and guild daily challenges you can spend wishing coins to open gift boxes and get rewards when all the gift boxes around in the round are opened you can receive the final reward uh, for this round each round contains a gingerbread when the gingerbread is drawn the remaining unopened gifts in this round will automatically open for free Kind of feels like the Gashapon event kind of where it's like uh, Yeah, it looks like you can open gifts up if you find this little guy right here It opens all of them I guess and then yeah, it looks like there is gonna be a special thing that you can get uh, this is usually like five bucks and it's usually in the event we have right now. Oh, I forget the name of the event uh, But it lets you double up and get uh, the bonus resources You can claim all this reward after collecting all rewards in the round open all I don't know if it's going to be but it is a two-week event It looks like so it's not gonna be a one week It's a two week and it looks like you can get up to ten of them Per day potentially. I don't know. There's also this up here, which I don't there's no symbol next to it So we don't really know what it is uh, but yeah, we'll have to see how this one turns out. Not sure if it's going to be great or bad. We'll see. We have search for the Christmas stockings. During the event, you can find Christmas stockings hidden on the pages of various interfaces in the game. Uh, obtain gifts and help Santa slay. So we've actually had this one before. Uh, every single day we'll post and tell you guys where we find our stockings. I don't know if it's the same for everybody every single day. I feel like it wasn't in the past, uh, but it could be in like any menu. It could be in the hero list. It could be on the home screen. It could be in the store screen. It says, number one, Santa Claus has placed gifts in Christmas stockings and hidden them across every corner of the game. Sometimes they're even in the settings menu. Find Santa's hidden Christmas stockings and tap on them to earn the rewards. Each Christmas stocking contains three event items to repair the sleigh as well as one random bonus item. Uh, and it's refreshed at server time every single day. Uh, it looks like you can find up to five of them per day, so not too bad. And then you this goes straight into the repairing the sleigh event. It says during the event, you can fix Santa's sleigh, collect all the sleigh shards to earn a Christmas gift. So, oh, maybe that's what these are here. These are like the shards or something? I, I don't know, man. Uh, the final reward looks like that's a trophy from the looks of it. It looks like it's this background with the trophy let's help santa fix his sleigh collect the sleigh shards and earn christmas gifts so not bad obtained after a certain number of repairs uh and then looks like there's a snowman's market which i think is the next one so they all kind of like roll into each other it says during the event you can trade your items with the snowman for snowman's treasures uh you need to keep adding items to the trade until the snowman's satisfaction reaches 100 then use one baby snowflake which can be automatically refreshed by the system and you can also obtain these from daily missions or buy them with diamonds to complete the trade each item added to the trade increases snowman's satisfaction the rarer the item the more it increases so this is interesting don't know exactly What's going on with the, the, the synergies here? I don't want to. I want to trade red crystals. Those are too good, man. Those are. I need those to level up my heroes to 120, man. <laughs> but uh, I guess yeah, you just auto select and trade and see what you get. Uh, it doesn't really say what the rewards are here. I guess if there is a preview. Oh, it looks like this is a snowflake up the top. So what we saw in the other image here is supposed to be a snowflake. I think maybe that's an event currency. I have no clue. We'll have to see. 
Uh, but yeah, that's the last one there. And then they don't actually talk about it, but like I said, there's an endless battle here. It says during the event, you can challenge exclusive Christmas bosses to get rare rewards. Last but not least, the event rewards from this Christmas are amazing. You're going to get collab recruitment cards for the collaboration event, limited recruitment cards, gene hybrids, rare SSS hero cards, hero awakening materials for Daniel, uh, Christmas limited trophies, which the trophies turn out to be one of the best things in the game for you to hunt for and Christmas avatar avatar frames it is what it is but that is coming next week so let me know what you guys think about the preview it's nice that they're actually showing in-game screenshots and remember these things can change because these are from like the test server uh they could change by the time they get into the real game hopefully you guys enjoy this one I'll see you guys next time